Hello everyone, this hour, Speaking Games. Today's Speaking Game, Conditional Mysteries. The game where you have to use your knowledge, your creativity, your deductive thinking skills. Your deductive thinking skills, what does that mean? I mean your critical thinking skills and your powers of deduction, but you also have to use conditionals to solve the mystery. We'll be looking at at least two different mysteries. Quick introduction if you don't know me. My name is John Eric. I'm American from New York City and I'm hanging out today from Lisbon, Portugal. I've got three rules to help you out with your speaking ability in class. The first is turn off. Turn off, turn off means turn off your microphone because I'm hearing my voice so someone's got their microphone on. Uh, turn off, tune in and open up. Turn off means turn off your microphone and also close the verbling window so we don't hear the sound two times. The second is tune in. That means tune in to the new words. Pay attention to the new words and try to use them as actively as possible throughout the class. Uh, and finally, open up. Be open, not closed. The more you speak, the more relaxed you are, the more feedback I can give you and help you improve. And in fact, we're all here to learn, so it's a safe, respectful place for you to practice. Uh, for those of you uh, who are coming into class now, you probably have a reservation. I've seen some premium members. If you want to try it out, just go to the Get Reservation tag, the Get Reservation link, sorry, at the top of the page on the uh, Verbling main page, and you've got a variety of ways to try it before you buy it. You can send invitations to friends. Uh, there's a video you can watch. All these will let you reserve a place. So let's say a quick hello to our regulars and our new faces. Uh, we've got Mr. Batty Louise from Colombia. Hello, Mr. Mr. Batty. Hey, welcome back. Thank you. How are you doing? You know, I'm pretty good. I'm still looking for my mask and my cape. But that's, yeah, for, that's for another class. Yeah. Ah. I'm going to, and I'm, I'm not careca yet. <laughs> oh, look, you can see. You can see the top of my head. I still have a little bit of hair left. Not for long, though. No, no, no. Uh, I, I mean me. You? Oh, we can't see you. We don't know. Uh, well, no, I'm I hope it, not, not I hope careca, careca, but yeah, I cut my hair. Uh, oh, you did. Can you see me? I can see yeah. you, I can just see you on the hammock. I can just see you in the hammock. That's about it. Uh, okay. well, let's, say, know. let's say a quick hello to some new faces. So we've got Ahmed coming back. We've got Mr. Barry Louise. We've got Hazel back. Ishmael as well. Uh, Javier, I remember that avatar. But say a quick hello to the group. Hello, Javier. Um, um, hello, teacher. So where are you from, Javier? Well, Just yes, I'm from Spain, and I was visiting this website that is uh, in the class about uh, one week ago, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I remember the picture. Um, okay, nice to have you with us. And Jose, Jose Luis, or Jose, I'm sorry. Say a quick. Oh, we lost Jose. I think we lost him. Okay. So let's say hello to uh, Chio. Is it that, is that right? Is it Kio or Chio? Yes, it's... How do, how do I say your name? Yes, it's me. <laughs> I am. Well, uh, it's not Chio. It's, my name is Rocio. But uh, for here... Rocio? Yes, for here, um, people, my friends, my family, call me uh, Tio. Chio. Okay. Yes. Where are you from? Chile. From Chile? I'm Chilean. Yes. I live in ba Viña del Mar, Valparaiso. Okay, excellent. So nice to have you here. So today we're going to be solving mysteries. We're going to get started. Oh, we've got Jose Luis 
Jose Luis, you keep popping in and out. So when you're <laughs> when you're back, turn on your microphone and say hello. Let's say a quick hello to Claude. Hello. Hi, Claude. Hello. Where are you from? Where are you? I'm from France. <clears throat> I'm from France. I live in Paris. Excellent. Nice to have you with us. Nice to be with you. <laughs> Paris, a city that I know pretty well, but I haven't been there in a long time. Ah, good. Nice place. I used to live there. When you uh, want, you're welcome. <laughs> excellent. I'll be there tomorrow. I hope you've got a place for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, and let's say hello to, is it Fatih? I can't say, I can't see if I'm saying it right. Yes. How do I say your name? Fatih Harjan. Fatih. Okay. Where are you from? Yeah, I am from Turkey. Okay. Excellent. Nice to have you with us. By the way, I, I'm going to mute your microphone, Fatih, because I'm hearing the television. Okay. But when you're ready to speak, just, just turn it back on. There's no problem. Okay. And a quick hello to Mr. Jose Garcia that I know well. Hello, Mr. Jose. Turn on your microphone. Yes. Hi, everybody. I am Jose. I am from Spain. Nice to meet you. Excellent. Nice to have you back. Okay. This is how conditional mysteries work. Wait a second. I'm not going to tell you because we have Mr. Batty Louise to explain the rules. Did you play before, Mr. Batty Louise? I can't remember I if you were in the last one. Yeah? So how yeah, does this I work? Um... We have to use the conditionals for uh, describe uh, for discover the mystery, the the situation that John is gonna say to us. Unless you have one for us, then you can tell us. Do you have a mystery okay, for us? I don't have oh, you no, should. So you, you really should. No. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. And Ahmed, did you play this before? I can't remember if you were in my class. Mm, I'm not sure. I think yeah. I think so. I, okay. I did yeah mm -hmm. once. Maybe. Uh, uh, I think, uh, yeah, uh, Mr. John will uh, uh, show us <laughs> <laughs> show, uh, such a uh, 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 mystery or something, uh, like puzzle, yeah? And we That's need right. to, yeah, to guess and to uh, to put some, um, how to say, uh, questions. Yeah, no, questions or um, like uh, if something happened, that means yeah, something else Absolutely, could happen. Yeah. Yeah. So today, uh, every class, I'm trying to give a new set of words that you can use to expand your vocabulary for conditionals. Very quickly, because I've done this class a few times, let's summarize the, con the basic conditionals. And if you remember, I think it's easiest if we think about two types of conditionals. Let's start there with a very quick summary and then we're going to play the game. So does anyone remember the two categories from previous classes that we talked about? If real so, and yeah, absolutely, real and unreal, okay. And now let's, let's see if that makes sense by giving a real example, giving one example of each. Daddy, were you saying something? I was, uh, was going to say real and unreal, yeah. Okay, give us an example of a real. What's a real <laughs> conditional? Can you think of one? When you use if and you use the present perfect, the present tense. That's true. Okay, so so give us an example. You're absolutely right. Give us an example. Uh, For example, let's use the word. I, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No. Let's if use I the go verb. To the park, I would buy uh, ice cream. If I go to the park, right? I, I would. I, and when we're speaking, I we don't will. say I would, we'd probably say I I'd. Will. Okay. Right? When I, we're speaking, I'd we'd probably buy. say I'd. Okay. Okay. And then let me just block Marina because we don't need you in class. I don't know if that's blocking or not. What happened to my delete button and my block? They're gone. Uh, anyway, Mr. Betty Louise, you're absolutely right. If I go to the park, I'd buy. An ice cream, right? Yep. Okay, let, let me put that in the chat window for us. That is absolutely the real conditional because it's got I'd if I go to the park I'd wait, wait, Hazel, you're right. <laughs> I'm, 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 not, I'm not I'm there good. because I can't see a verb in chat. Uh okay. I'll I'll try to put it in both, but you're right. Because 
if with I will uh, the yeah, real yeah, yeah, conditional yeah. is with will. Yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I, I I wrote it with I would and I said it with I would, but you're right. Yes. So I will or I'll. Right. So let me. It's there in the. It's there in the verb link chat, and I'll see if I can quickly add it to the to the regular chat as well. I'll. Okay. So that's the real. Let's take the same sentence and make it unreal. And that's what you were doing, Batty, with would. So let's take the same sentence and make it unreal. Maybe, Ahmed, could you change the sentence for us to make it unreal? Okay. Um, uh, if um, I went, uh, I don't remember really what he You're right, you're right. Yes, if I yes. went, uh, if you're I right. If I went uh, to such and such, I, uh, I would uh, buy. Example. That's it. So in the in the verbling chat window, you can see it, and I'll try to add it in the regular chat. I can't keep switching back and forth, but just for this, I'll do it because it's important. Okay. So uh, let me go back to the verbling chat. Okay. If I went to the park, I buy an ice cream. So the formula is if plus past plus would could or should. Why are why is one real? and the other one unreal. The reason is the real is based on something happening now that will result in the future. The unreal is based on something happening in the past with the result happening in the present. So actually the unreal uses the past to talk about the present in a way that it could happen or might happen or would happen. It's an alternative present. That's why we say it's unreal. Okay, so, and then last part of the review, we can make the real really real if we get rid of the future. Zero conditional, present it, plus present. That's it. So let's, let's use that exact sentence and make it really real, the zero conditional. When I go to the park, yeah. I buy a, an ice cream. That's right. That's absolutely correct. Usually so we change. We use when instead of if. Absolutely. So if becomes usually when, and in, we have to get rid of the will, and we got this sentence in the verbling chat window. When I go to the park, I buy an ice cream, and we can even add another word, which I'm going to add for you right now, which is whenever, to show that it's something that happens all the time. Give me just a second, and I'll put that there for you. Whenever I go to the park, I buy an ice cream. There you go. So now we're stating this condition as if it was a scientific fact. It's really real. It, it, sometimes we can say this to make things sound more important or more immediate. You can use this if you want to threaten people. But don't threaten me, because I'm a, okay. Because I, I I get I scare very easily. Okay. And does anyone want to try for to make the unreal really unreal? All we have to do is take a step back in time, and we do that by adding have. So let me copy this for you. And we want to try. If I had gone to the park. Excellent. I would have bought an ice cream. Okay. And when we're speaking, we don't say if I had, we say if I'd, once I'd. again. Right. If I'd gone to the park, I'd have bought, bought. Excellent. an ice cream. Okay. And there it is in the verb link chat. Okay. So that is the really unreal conditional. And if you're counting, we have four total. And in the grammar books, when you take away the future from the real conditional and make it really real, we start the counting at zero. So that's the zero conditional. The real conditional is the first. The unreal is the second. And the when we step back in time, by adding have, the really unreal is the third. Zero, one, two, and three. And in the last class, the last two classes, we introduced other expressions like um, as, as right, as. excellent, as long as, to, unless, as long as, in case, um, and even saying 
what if. And these tended to be the unreal conditional. So what I'm going to have us do is we're going to play the game, and I'm going to ask you, after you try to figure out the mystery, I'm going to ask you to restate what you're saying using one of those forms. But today, I'd like to do something a little different. I'd like to focus on the third conditional. And if you're going to whisper the rules, turn off your microphone, because I'm hearing, ash, 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 ash. I don't know who it is. <laughs> who? Not me. Not you. It's probably Ahmed. Is it you? No, my no, microphone is, uh, is unmuted all the time. You, you remembered. OK. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, so um, let's get started. I'm going to give you the situation. I'm going to put it actually in the chat box. Uh, do, 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 do. Here we go. I'm going to make one little change, though. Oh, okay. And by the way, I can only answer, I can only be asked, I can only say yes or no. Uh, uh, okay, let's call this. Um, yeah, okay, let's call this a speedboat. Okay, so the situation is in the middle of the ocean. Uh, we're in the middle of the ocean, and there is a speedboat. Several corpses are floating in the water, are floating in the water around around the boat. By the way, I. I shouldn't really say speedboat because I know nothing about boats, but you'll see why in the end why I'm saying that. You are the police captain. You've got to figure out what happened to these people. And remember, this is you can't break the laws of physics. So there must be an explanation. I can answer yes or no. And as you figure out the story, you, I'm going to ask you to rephrase using conditionals. You can also... You can also speculate using conditionals. You could say something like, hmm, well, if they had been blah, 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 they might have. So you can speculate, or you can just guess, and then I'm going to ask you to rephrase using one of the conditional forms, and I'll be there to help you. So are you ready? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, hold on a second. Mr. Amar, we don't say yes when we say, are you ready? What do we say? We say, ready! we are ready. <laughs> are you ready? Ready! <laughs> Go for it. So we're going to start, we're going to start the questioning with Mr. Amar because he's ready. You've got to figure out the mystery. I can only answer yes or no. Sorry, can you type the mystery in the in the chat, oh, you, please? You don't see it in the verbal Where? chat. No. Oh, in the verbal chat, you don't see it, really? Okay, let me put it in the regular uh, Google chat. Hold on. Yes, please, I can see either. Okay, so remember, you're the police. You just come upon this strange situation in the middle of the ocean. It's in the middle of the ocean. There's a speedboat. There are several corpses or bodies floating in the water around the boat. Uh, whoops, sorry, that's a little typo. Your job is to figure out what happened. Your job is to figure out what happened. So, start questioning. <laughs> I can't say anything else or I'm going to give it away. All I can say is that you, you can't break the laws of physics. That's all I can tell you. The boat is okay. Uh, no, no uh, hit in the boat. No fire. No cut. Nothing. The boat so is okay. Ask me that as a yes/no question. Start with is. Is is the boat okay? Excellent. Is the boat okay? Yes. The boat is perfect. Mm -hmm. Is the ca captain okay? Is the captain okay? Of the boat. The captain is dead in the water, so he's not okay. It depends on what you mean by okay. If dead is okay, then he's okay. But I don't think he's okay because he's dead. Is by the way, there anybody alive? Is there anybody alive? On the uh, boat? No, there's no one alive on the boat. 
Is there, there blood? Is there any any corpse corpse with blood? Is there any corpse with blood? Hmm. Um. No. <laughs> uh. Do you mean? Are any of the bodies bleeding? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yes, are there is, the, yes, they are injured, injured with blood in, or is just ah, at the back? are they injured? No, no, they're not injured. They're just dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are the bodies in the same area of near the neighborhood of the boat? Are the bodies in the same area as the boat? Is that what you're asking? Uh, yes, near the boat. Yes, yes, they're floating all around the boat. Yes, yes, they're right next to the boat. Did they drink something poisoni poisoning? Poisonous? Did they, good, poisonous. Did they poisonous. drink something poisonous? Did they drink something poisonous? Well, or yes. Eat, or eat, did they drink or eat something poisonous? I can only answer yes or no. <laughs> so. so, which is your question? Did they drink something poisonous? Yes and no, but it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I can already hear sighs of exasperation. <sighs> it gets frustrating. Are, are it? the corpse fishes? Fish? <laughs> Why do you ask that? Because you don't say if there are people. Very good lateral thinking, Hazel. Because you remember the other, remember the other mystery about Romeo and Juliet? Yes, I watched that. Uh, yeah, class. they I they were they were goldfish in the end. Yeah. It's true. No, these are real people. Okay. These are real dead people. Okay. Is, is the boat have a, a GPS in it? Does the boat have a <laughs> GPS? Of course. Of course it does. Teacher, are there the corpses dressing daily clothes? Or civilian? Are they dressed with an ED? Yes. Are they dressed in everyday clothes? Not daily, but everyday clothes? Um, some are, some aren't, but it really doesn't matter. So, you got to be strategic about this. Well, here's what I'd like you to do I'd like you to, um, I'd like you to add a conditional now for every guess you make. I want you to add a conditional where you speculate about what happened. So, for example, Ishmael, before you ask, are they dressed in everyday clothes, you could say, if, if they were dressed as what? What might be the result? So, let's start with you, Ishmael. If they were dressed as, what do you have in mind? Safety vest or... Uh, okay, good. That's a good vest. point. That's a good, like a flotation vest, flotation yeah. device. Say that as a conditional for us, and if you get it wrong, no problem. I'm here to help. So Hazel, say that as a conditional. What if they were, uh, they um, were wearing a flotation vest? Uh, would they? Um, wouldn't they be floating because of this? I'm sorry, I have to, I just have to mute, I think it's, I can't see who's here, I think it's Tolgahan because I'm getting feedback from you. Sorry about that, but you can turn your microphone back on when you're ready to speak. Um, so yeah, what if they, that's a good, that's a good, hang on a second, that's a good conditional because I'm muting you, Tolgahan, because I'm getting feedback. But when you're ready to speak, you can turn it on, or if Hello. you need to. Can you hear me? Yes, but I'm getting feedback from you, because I'm getting a lot of noise from you. So just keep your microphone off until you're ready to speak, OK? Tolkien? OK, OK. OK, so I'm going to mute you temporarily. OK, that's good. So what if they were wearing, what if they were wearing, we call those flotation devices, or if they're tied around you, yes. Hazel, they're, they're called um, life vests. Life vest. Life exactly. Vest. Life vest. I thought life vest. What if they uh, didn't had life vest? Would have they floated? Okay, good. What if they didn't? But use the right conditional, right? Would it be if they didn't had? What if they didn't had? 
if they well, didn't had a floating vest or, or si life vest. Okay. Would they? Would they uh, float? Okay, I would change it a little bit. I'd say, what if they, well, first of all, let's do it like this to make it easy. You can speculate first and then ask a question later, or you can ask the question first and then speculate later. So you, here, let's try the speculation first using our conditional. What if they, um, if Either. they, well, let's say if they, if they, if they had life vests on, if they have life vests on, they, if they had life vests on, I'm sorry, they would probably be alive. So do they have life vests on? We can try to do it like that. So do they have life vests on? And the answer is, the answer is no. They don't have life vests on. The answer is no. Okay. And go for it. Okay, if 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 the if the uh, speedboat uh, had been on fire, uh, they yeah. they um, would uh, they um, I don't know uh, would? They, they, they would uh, um, jump to the water without in a hurry. So if the speedboat was on fire. They would jump into the wa into the water in a hurry, right? Excellent point, very good point. So then you have to think: Are there other signs that would show that they were in a hurry? So you can ask a specific a question now uh, to see if there's some way to tell if they were in a hurry. Good idea, by the way. I totally agree with you, Javier. Good idea. So now ask a question to find out if they were in a hurry. Okay. Um, um, so maybe they don't um, have time enough to 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 take anything of the boat. True. That that's a good point. So you need to ask a direct question now to try to find out if that's true. Your speculation is 100% right. Now you got to ask a direct question. And there you don't need to ask a conditional, just a regular question now. So how can we determine whether or not they were in a hurry? What would be a clue or a sign? Javier. Oh, really? I don't know. I don't know how can I ask to to, to know if they have um, any problem with to, to to be in a hurry. Well, think about think about maybe a bomb. What they have. <laughs> <laughs> so ask me that as a direct question, Javier. <laughs> so if a uh, direct question would be if, um, and if something caused any kind of fire on the boat. Okay, and no it didn't. The boat is in perfect condition. The motor is still running, right? Everything is in perfect condition. Uh -huh, okay. Ishmael, what do you think? If they had not crashed into the rock, they could have been alive. Is it right, teacher? Uh, I wouldn't use that conditional in that way. If they had, if they had crashed. Oh wait, wait. You said if they had crashed. If they had crashed into a rock, right? If they had hadn't. crashed. Into, yeah, but I wouldn't say hadn't, because we don't know if they did or if they didn't yet, right? Yes. Right? So I would say it in the positive form, not the negative. Well, if they had crashed into a rock, right, uh, they, they, might, they might have been thrown off the boat, for example. And yes. how, now, how would we know if they were thrown off the boat? Think about their appearance. Maybe we could identify the bodies by how they appear or what they wear. So ask a direct question about their appearance. Or ask a direct question about the boat. Either way. Is the propeller of the boat okay? Yes, it is. It's perfect. <laughs> so what does that maybe, tell you, Ishmael? <laughs> maybe somebody fell from the boat into the sea and the others try to save him ah. and jump into the sea. I interesting uh, hypothesis. Ishmael, say that to me as a conditional. Good idea. Say it to me as a conditional. 
Or all jump to save one guy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that they were very smart sailors, right? I mean, who knows? Maybe they're, maybe they're not fish. Maybe they're lemmings. Maybe they all jumped off at the same time. You know what lemmings are? Monkeys. The little furry things that jump off the cliff. If one goes, they all run after it. Monkeys. Not monkeys. They're like the little furry things. You know, furry things. I don't know. Things that are furry. An animal, a little animal. A little animal. Ishmael, do you have a, a conditional yeah. for us? Yes, teacher. I'm not teacher. I'm, I'm John Eric. I'm not if worthy of, of the title teacher, Ishmael. I'm not sir. I'm not teacher. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go for if, it. If anybody had fell down from the boat into the sea, if somebody, Nobody. if somebody had fallen off the boat into the sea, not anyone, if somebody had fallen off to the boat, right? Good. Right idea, I'm just correcting the form. Okay. If somebody had fallen off the boat, then what would happen? The other uh, people? May not, the other people in the boat. Right? May not. Uh, jump into the sea to save. Well, here I would change that for instead of may, I would change it to might or would or could. So I'd say, yes. if someone, if someone, and you said had fallen, right? So that's the third conditional. If someone had fallen off the the boat, the others probably wouldn't have all jumped off to save him. Right, yes. him or her. Okay, so so that's the form of the of the sentence, not may, because if you say had fallen, the next part has to be would have or could have or might have, right? Yes. W or maybe even should have. One of those. So in other words, you take the second conditional, the unreal, add have to it, and you've got the really unreal or third conditional. Okay, so that's a good example. So if if one person had fallen off, the other people probably wouldn't have all jumped off to get the person. Probably not. I agree. So what does that leave us? We know what do we know so far, Mr. Ahmed? What do we know so far? What are the facts? Mr. Ahmed fell asleep. There is no accident in boats and motors and propeller. No accident in the boat. Everything is in perfect working condition. Excellent. The what boat, else do we know? The boat didn't crash into the rocky surface. Right. It didn't crash into a rock or anything. That's true. So the boat's fine. What do we know about the people? They don't float because uh, no, they more than. were... Um, a life jacket. They don't wait in like something like this accident, I think. Yeah, well, when Hazel said they don't float, well, they are floating because they're bodies. They, they don't float because of life vest or s something which helped them to float. Right, they don't have any, they don't have a life vest on. None of them have life vests, that's true. Okay, so if they can't swim, uh, they'd have to drown. There's nothing to keep them up, right? Okay, that's true. So, um, did anyone figure it out? <laughs> teacher, if... Yeah? Are if they... they had known swimming... Yeah? They it's getting warmer. Wouldn't, wouldn't jump in the sea. That's true. If they had gone swimming, they wouldn't... Well, wait a second. What do you mean they wouldn't jump in the sea? They could jump in. What do you mean? Yes. I think they are floating. They are not dead. They are, they are dead. The... No, no, they're dead. <laughs> they're really dead. Your job is to solve the mystery of why they're dead and what happened to them. They're definitely dead. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. The question check, is why. Check the balls. Uh, ball. <laughs> check the poles? Uh, ball. In, in the neck, in the in neck, the pulse. The pulse. pulse. Right, check yeah. their pulse. <laughs> They're definitely dead. And and we have, I think it's Rocio. I don't know how to say your name. Rocio or Rocio. If they had run away from, not of, but from, if they had run away from pirates, 
right? They could still be alive if they had run away from Pilate, right? If they had run away, I'm, I'm going to change your condition a little bit because I think it sounds better like this. If they ran away from pirates, they might still be alive. So you're saying that they probably were on the run. Well, could be, but the boat is in working condition. The motor's fine. Uh, everything, everything is fine. Okay. Maybe no gas and uh... gas in the boat. Boat's yeah. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> if. if if uh, ha, um, the weather condition had been very bad, uh, ah. like a tempest. Um, How do we say like tempest in English? Um, um, really, Not uh, tempest? No. Uh, t storm? A storm. Storm, right. Storm like weather. a big storm. Uh, the, the bodies uh, would have been near of the, the boat. I mean, uh, they are very near of the boats, the, the bodies, or they are um, far, far, scattered. far distance. Scattered, far away, scattered. scattered. No, no, they're near the boat. They're right next to the boat. Uh, right oh, next okay. to the boat. So the actually. weather conditions, the, the sea is in a good conditions? Um, no, the season, no, it's calm, bright, okay. nice day. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you five more questions to figure it out, and then I'm going to tell you the answer if you can't get it. Here's a hint. Think about, think about, um, think about what got them into the water, and think about what kind of clues that you could see, right, that might help you figure it out. I'm going to give you five questions to finish. Uh, if not, I'm going to tell you the answer. Remember, speculate using a conditional, but ask me a direct question to try to visualize the images or try to figure out what happened. So, any other ideas? Think about how they look, how they're is, dressed. Is, is they uh, have a, a, a government uniform? Okay, so the question is, do they... Say again, do, do they? Do they have a, 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 uni a government uniform? On. A government on. uniform on. Oh. We always put the preposition at the end of the sentence. Do they have, uh, in this ki case, we're going to say government uniforms because it's many people. Right, Amar? Yes. Okay, uniforms. so do they have government uniforms on? Uh, first, give me a conditional why that matters. Because if they did, what, Amar? Yeah, if, if they uh, cop maybe some, uh, some so if gang or something oh i see attack them yeah oh i see i see so say that as a conditional if they had on if they had on uh, a, a, a a police uniform right then what uh, they may have they, been they may may have been uh, going to Trab or something. If they had a police uniform, they may have been going to a club. Trab, trab. Trouble. Trab. Trouble. No, no, trab. Write it for me. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> Write it for me in the chat window. If trap, they had trap. T R A P. Trap. 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 Yeah. Trap. Uh, if they had on government uniforms, like police uniforms, they may have somehow, they may have, that's your key word for the conditional, they may have ended up in a trap. Okay. And the answer to that is no. They don't have government uniforms on. So that's four questions left. But that begs the question, he's getting warmer. Think about what they're wearing. Think about what they're wearing. <laughs> are, we, are we out of questions? Are we done? If, hey, if, if they, they had, had nightgowns on there. If they had nightgowns on, would the men be wearing nightgowns? <laughs> what kind of pajamas? <laughs> what kind of boat do you think this is? If they had, I thought uh, nightgowns means uh, for the men and women. Well, pajamas. It's what 
if they had pajamas on. Um, yeah, what if they have pajamas on? So, on, what's your direct would, question then? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Finish your conditional. If would, they had pajamas on, then what? Where they uh, might might they? Um, Don't ask it as a question. Sleeping? Okay, that's it. Excellent. That's what I wanted to hear. Make the speculation first. If they had nightgowns on or pajamas, they yes. might have been sleeping. Sleeping. Right. So what's your direct question, Hazel? Were they uh, sleeping? Were they sleeping? No. They were no. definitely not sleeping. Okay, so that's three questions left All to figure it out. Teacher. Teacher. I'm not worthy of the title teacher, Ishmael. I've got serious teacher. issues. Serious confidence issues. Just call me oh, John. Hey, John. <laughs> Go for it. What's your question? If they had real jewelry. If they had what? Say again? Real uh, jewelry things. Uh, real? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not able to hear everything. Everything you're saying. Real what things? Real? Jewelry. Jewelry. Jewelry, yes. Rings. Like, like rings and necklaces. Uh, swords, and gold. necklace, golden, uh, precious things. Right. So if you're going to speculate, you would say, if they had on jewelry, then what might happen or could happen? So finish that sentence. If they had on jewelry, then what, Ishmael? What would be the results? By the way, this is for the whole group. How could we they finish? Might, Go, yeah, they might what? They might have killed. Uh, they might have been killed. Been. Have been right. killed by a perpetrator. You remember that word from the other class, perpetrator. <laughs> yes. Excellent. <laughs> uh, and the answer is yes, they have jewelry on, but none of it is missing. Yes, they have jewelry on, but none of it is missing. Two questions left, and then I'll tell you the answer, if you're good. If you're bad, if, I won't tell you the answer. Oh. Oh. If, if there, if there, uh, if, um, uh, there had been any treasure into the boat, or any rich piece, or something like that, any something with high value into the right. boat, um, somebody could have uh, attacked them. Good. Someone could have, not had, but someone could have attacked could them. Could have attacked them. So, right. uh, and, um, have been they um, attacked by someone? Okay. So, uh, so, so were they attacked? Your direct yeah. question would be, were they attacked? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the answer is, uh, no. They were not attacked. They were definitely not attacked. One question left. One question left. Who wants it? Think about what they were wearing, maybe. You're never going to guess it. <laughs> In fact, when you do guess it, you're going to be so disappointed. Ooh, that was really loud. Someone's got a very loud cell phone. One question left. Who wants it? Mr. Ahmed, I haven't heard a peep out of you all class. Are you there? Maybe he f flow with the others in the boat. Maybe he's maybe he's <laughs> floating around. I hope not. <laughs> no, f f flow. Yeah, uh, I mean dead with them. I know what you mean, and I, I hope not. <laughs> I hope his yeah. microphone is just turned off. Amar, come on, last question. Think about think about how they're dressed. No, I I didn't uh, uh, want to take uh, the last one. Okay. Maybe, well, we still. Uh, 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 when I uh, get it uh, wrong, everybody. No, Amar, you bad, you. Amar, we're gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna do that no matter what. So don't worry about that. We're all gonna get on your case. So it won't really matter. Okay. We've still got uh, Dastan and Carla who joined us a little late. I don't know if you want to venture the last guess. If you want, now's your chance. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Uh, if, uh, are they? And, uh, swimming suits? Excellent question. That's the question that I've been waiting for. Yes. I asked, I yes. asked this question, John. You did? Yes. 
Oh, okay. Well, that means you get another question. You get a bonus question. So yes, they are wearing swimming suits, right? Mm -hmm. They've got some jewelry on because they just had it on, but they're wearing swimming suits. So obviously they weren't in a rush to get in the water. Here's another question. Here's another big hint for you. Think about how they look. Think about how they look in their yeah. swimming suits. Big yeah. hint. This is for anyone. You got yeah, a bonus question. Yeah. Their skin looks like uh, look purple. Do they look purple? Purple? Uh, purple? Uh, you mean um, sunburn? Do you mean yeah. sunburn? A color, a color. There, is there, there any sharp bite on your body? Well, not yet. <laughs> there probably will be. Okay, our questions are up. Does anyone want to venture a guess? Does it, can anyone figure it out? I gave you such a big hint. Okay, let's speculate a little bit. <clears throat> if they were wearing bathing suits, that means what? They were swimming. They were swimming, right? And if they were swimming, what does that tell us about the situation? Maybe they, uh, they uh, drown or something. They definitely drowned. Absolutely, yeah. they drowned. So the question is, they drowned, and were they expecting it? No, uh, maybe the sea uh, get mad suddenly. Or a yeah. lightning. They were. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we know, we know that the weather was good. Someone already asked that. We know that the weather was wasn't good. Storm. It wasn't storm. There was no storm. Right, right, right. So, if they were in the bathing suits, they weren't. They weren't. Uh, they didn't have to jump in the water unexpectedly. The weather was good. We know that they were swimming. Maybe there is a drift in the sea or yeah, fluctuation. Maybe there is, but no one really talked about the bodies. What do you think the bodies look like? No one talked about that. The only one person said swimsuit. But no Maybe the, the fat, fat, all fat. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's yes! why they are floating. <laughs> yes! Amar, what killed them? You're absolutely right. They're fat. Big Heart fat. attack? No! Stroke. No! They, can, they can't uh, grab in the boat. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Amar wins the prize. Big mistake, the fat. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so here's the answer. Here's the full answer. What is I, the reason? I couldn't understand. Tell, no. tell, tell us, Amar, why, why do they die? Yeah, because they fad, they jump, they don't have a like stair or something to get, get on, on the boat. <laughs> and they try, they try maybe for two hours, five hours. And, and they, then they, they, oh, they, die. and then they died. They're yeah. dead because they're too fat. They're too fat. Here's the whole story, right? The I whole story. Understand. Sorry. By exhaustion. They yeah. died by exhaustion. They are too fat. Look in the verbling chat window. And here's what happened. Because they're fat, they weigh a lot, right? Yeah. If you weigh a lot and you step off the boat, what do you think happens <clears throat> to the boat? Float. It's, uh, it, uh, it's go upstairs. Go it goes up. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah, not upstairs. It goes up. Up. And they so, couldn't uh, get on the boat again. Yeah, because there was a ladder on the side of the boat so that they could climb down into the water, right? Huh. But when all the fat people got off the boat and started swimming around, the boat went up because there was no more weight, and they couldn't reach the ladder and they and they were and they were kind of out of shape you know they couldn't swim anywhere so they died from exhaustion and they drowned and that's my story what do you think teacher they can grab the propeller or any part of the boat boats and they Ish might be alive ishmael if you had designed the boat i'm sure you would have come up with a safety mechanism for fat people like a special propeller entrance, but this boat unfortunately didn't have one, so they're dead. And that's the end of the story.
What do you think? <laughs> Disappointed? Well, uh, it's, it's like a really it's a, a little bit strange. Oh, there is a team of fat people, something like that. They're making <laughs> rowing. For, yeah, this is uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, Survivor luxury yacht edition. You know the reality TV show? There's like a show you've got to survive. Is it a real story? Yeah, it, ha it happened to me actually. <laughs> oh, no, <I'm> not. <laughs> that was <laughs> that's how I lost all the weight. I had to swim back to shore. It's a very sad story. No, no I'm just kidding. I'm just seriously. kidding. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. This is this is a this is a conditional mystery where you have to use your lateral thinking skills, right? You have to figure out what is not included in the description, right? So my, what, what I wanted you to do was to try to think about what you could see, because you can't see what's going on. Try to, try to ask questions to be able to see what's going on. And the moment you talk about their bodies, right, what kind of people they were, what they look like, and you get fat, you can start to put two and two together and you'll figure it out. So, for these conditional mysteries, it doesn't have to be me bringing in the mystery. It can be you. In fact, Rafael Gonzalez brought in one, which was really good, actually. Uh, do you remember that one? A one about the scuba diver in the, in the forest? Was anyone there for that? No. No? It's an old video, so I guess I can repeat it. That was the one where <clears throat> there's a burned-out forest... And in the middle of the forest, in the middle of a mountain, there's a burned-out forest with smoke rising. And uh, there's a scuba diver in the middle of the burned-down forest, right? Still wearing scuba gear. You know, you got the snorkel, got the goggles, have the oxygen tank tanks on the back, right? And so the question is, how did a scuba diver, who's alive, end up in the middle of a burned-down forest on top of a mountain? That was Raphael's mystery. Do you know? Do you know the answer to that one? Well, I, yes. I, I use, he knows. Yes. <laughs> well. They use the water yes. to. Um... Yes, John. Well, one at a time. What were you going to say, Hazel? Uh, they use the water to extinguish the fire. Unbelievable! You got it in one guess. Yes, that's it. <laughs> 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 and so, where did the diver come from? From uh, the sea. From the sea. So the, the plane swooped down to get the water and then drop it on the forest fire and they picked up a diver. So he ended up... <laughs> <laughs> the only <laughs> It's true. So the only question is, how did the diver fall hundreds of feet and still live? We don't know that. I, oh, actually, maybe he was dead. I can't remember. <clears throat> and then we had... Uh, and then we had... Um, what was it? The Romeo and Juliet one? Yes, uh, the, I know that one. <laughs> tell us, tell us the mystery for those who weren't there. Do you remember the, how how it went? Um, in a room, uh, Romeo and Juliet died, and uh, the police came and uh, have to solve what the did, mystery. What, what did they find in the room? Uh, some water um, on the floor, and and? The, and the window opened, and. and? And, one and, more thing some too. Glasses. and some gla and some glasses. Not glass. glasses. Glass, glass. These, yeah, these are glasses, right? Yeah, exactly. Some right. glass. So some they glass. Say they found glass and they found water and the window was open and Romeo and Juliet were dead. And how happened this? How did it happen? Because did they didn't drink poison and there's no dagger. They didn't kill themselves, yeah. right? And we, we the can, and the, the room was uh, closed with the. Um, yep, the room was locked. Locked the room, with the, the room, key. Yes, exactly. The room was locked, so so. Nobody came and uh, killed them. How did that's it true. happen? Anyone want to venture? I guess this is an old one, so maybe the, the devil killed kill them. <laughs> Uh, there's one little rule here with these conditional mysteries. We can't break the laws of physics. So, for no, our... Uh, there is the devil. No, no breaking. <laughs> for uh, the devil cannot appear in our stories, unfortunately, because they are, they are supernatural proof stories. It can only be regular physics, so it's not the devil. 
Good guess. Anyone else? No one knows this one? I thought this one was easy. No? Anyone? You, wh why don't you ask what Romeo and Juliet look like? <laughs> There's, that's how you'll figure it out. Go ahead, Amar. Ask me a we question. We talked about this at the beginning. At the beginning, we uh, mentioned this. I know, but I thought Maybe that... Uh, nobody <clears throat> pay attention. I think no one paid attention. Does it, no, do you know I, the answer? I, I'm not there. If I'm there, I will answer. <laughs> do you want to guess, Amar? We've got, we've got two and a half minutes left. Maybe they drink too, 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 too much water and they sleep and they suffocate with the, they, their water. They don't drink water at all. They don't drink water at all. And they didn't suffocate because of the water. They suffocated ah, because of the air. Suffocated. <laughs> they suffocated because of the air, not yeah. the water. Hmm. What does that mean? How does someone suffocate because of the air, Amar? You increased the mystery. I did. I did. Someone <laughs> choked them? No, 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 no. They suffocated because of the air. No one choked them. There was no one in the room. No one could choke locked. them. The room was locked. The room was locked. M maybe they play in uh, uh, hold breath and no one <laughs> no one want to <laughs> breathe everyone want to win and they die Amar, I want you to hold your breath and let's see how long you can hold it for <laughs> you're not going to die no matter how long you hold it for because you, your body won't let you so it can't be that why don't you ask about think about what they look like Amar by the way, I'm talking to Amar. There's other people in the room. Yes. And anyone why can were, chime in. And why was glass uh, on the floor and water? Yeah. Think about this. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be cruel and make Amar watch that video instead of giving him the answer? What do you think? <laughs> no, we should If you want the answer, it. you've got to go to my YouTube channel and you have to like my Facebook. Omar, you want to know what happened? Yeah, what happened? Okay, just ask me ask me about what they look like, and then I'll tell you the answer. What they look like? I, that's not a yes or no question. <laughs> is, uh, is they dressed... Uh, were they dressed? W were they dressed uh, pajama for sleep? Or no, they were completely or, uh, naked. Completely naked. <laughs> were they human? <laughs> you should ask these. <laughs> you should ask, were they human? They were completely naked and they had fins too. They had <laughs> fins and gills. So who were Romeo and Juliet Amar? I don't know. <laughs> if, you, if you have fins yeah, and gills. Yeah, yeah, fish, fish, I think. Romeo and Juliet were someone's goldfish. They were pets. And the wind blew open the window and knocked the aquarium off the table and there was glass and water and Romeo and Juliet dead on the floor. There you go. <laughs> okay. So everyone, I will see you next time in Conditional Mysteries. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is do these speaking games every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay? There's going to be a different one every time. Uh, this is one. <clears throat> We've got another one called Anecdotes. Uh, uh, there's a bunch of games. You can find that. I'll try to post it on my Facebook page. You can also make requests. Uh, and that's really about it. Okay? Any questions or comments, send it to me on Google Plus or Facebook. And if you're not following me on Verbling, please do so so you can see my up-and-coming classes. And I'll be back later tonight for a Talkaholic text series where we spend half the class reading, getting new vocabulary, the other half debating whatever issues come up and what we're going to read. So join me then for that. And until then, see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Good bye, night. Bye. See you.